Hello, this is Gary Oakes from OnlineTutorship.com. This video tutorial is regarding the Taylor Brands Advanced Website Builder. And the topic I'm covering today is text. I've uploaded a templated website here and I'm going to demonstrate how we add text, format text and, and, and aligning text, etc. So we have a heading here. Your slogan goes in here or heading. We have some text here on the about and clinic information. All this is text services. And if I go on to say services page, we have some more text and text. The starting place with text is to format the text how you'd want to see it on the website. And that basically sets that sets the format for the, for the website. And we start this by going into design and global text. So with the global text, we start with the paragraph text. This is basically the general text that we see throughout the website. You can change the font here. I'm going to keep it as it is. The font size, I find 14 a bit small. I'm going to make it as anywhere between 16 or 18. You could have 17. The font color, you can choose a color. Have it bold or italics, but I would suggest as it's a paragraph text, you keep it as it is. If you have a link, you can underline the link and you can also have a link color by selecting the color here. Don't miss this one here, more options. Font weight, so we've got normal, but you can have it medium, you can have it light, lighter, bold. I'm gonna keep it as normal. And the line height, 1.5 is pretty good. Sometimes double is, can be good as well. I'm gonna stick with 1.5 and that's the line height. Then we get on to the title text. So H1 text is the largest you'd expect to see on your website. So they are the large titles. So something like the, the slogan here would be an H1 text. And again, you can select the font, the size, the color, as it's a title, I would suggest have it bold. You can have it underlined if you want to. As you can see, this is an H1 text as it just underlined it as I selected that. I'm not gonna have it underlined, but you again, you can change it accordingly. Then we have an H2 title text. And again, you can change all the parameters. And you can do this up to six levels. The smallest one being H6, and that font size is really small, but again, it's, it's a title type text. It's bold. So that's where to start when it comes to text. Let's now have a look at some text. So for this text here, this will be a paragraph text and this will be a title text. Let's see what sort of title it is. So if I click on it, this menu bar comes up and we can see it's actually an H3 title text. One of the things to notice, first of all, we have an update here to an update to a new editor. So if you do see this, I would suggest that you update the editor straight away. And it's slightly different to what it was. So once we've changed it, I'm now going to look at the title. There's certain things you might want to do. You want to make it, keep it, make it bold. You might want italics, underline. There are some more functions here. Basing letters, whether you want a shadow for a text, you might want that, have a shadow. And you have the opportunity of the, the size of the shadow, the color of it, and where you'd like that color, that, that shadow to appear. Strike through and capitals. You then have color, the text style, size, font. We don't generally do a link in a title. This is, we can make this left center or right aligned. I'm gonna keep it left. Line height we leave for paragraph type text. Bullets, numbering again for paragraph text. Text from left to right. And we have this one here, which is connected data. When you're happy with this, you just select, select confirm. And there is a slight shadow around that and it's bold. I'm gonna keep it as that at the moment. Now have a look at the paragraph text. Here's the editor. Again, if you want to make it bold, you have to highlight the whole lot, you can bold, italics, and line. Again, if you want better spacing, whether it's narrow, wide, or custom, text, shadow, strike through, or caps. 
I'm not going to select any of these as it's a paragraph type text. You can change the color. We've got it down as a paragraph. This is the font size, the font. Here we have links. So you might want something to be a link. Highlight the word, select the link and where you would like the link to go to. So if I click it now, it'll go to an existing home page. So I'm going to keep that. That's what it will do. Again, you can change the, the format of the text. You can have it to the left, center, right, or you can have it justified. Justified would be in this case. You can change the height to double. I'm going to keep it to, to 1.5. You might want some bullets as well. So if I just press a return and, and say, I just put some numbers. So I might want the, the text to be bulleted. So I can just highlight those. We have bullets or we'll have them as numbers. So you have the opportunity to do some things here. The other one now is this connected data. This is a way of to add in certain text. At the moment, there isn't anything. So what I could do now is to come out of this and I'll show you what I mean. So if I now go into content and I have business text and about us. So if I want to say something about us, something about us. Okay, so this is a set piece of text. I'll come out of that. Okay, I've refreshed the page, connect to data, select. We now have something about us and I save it something about us. So this will add in any text that you might want to appear anywhere in the website. So if I want to change that, if I go back to this and business text, something about us, but not much really. I've now updated that. It now updates it here as well. Something about us, but not much really. So this is a way to add in some standard text. The widget is in a column and you can change the width of the widget. There is one other part to this. If I now right hand click, you can now edit the design. It's not just dissimilar to what we've just done. If you scroll down here, you can open the text editor here. This is the color. We've just done that through the text editor. You could add a, actually an image in the background if you wanted to. I'll show you what that looks like. Image, select. So we've got an image in the background. You can have it as cover, full image, or tiled, or no repeat. But let's go with cover. And where you might want to position it. So you can have it somewhere, I think at the top would be better with the face. And you can keep it in position as well. So as it scrolls, it stays in one place. And you might want to change the image size so that you do see the, all the image. You might want a background overlay. Let's have a look what that looks like. You might want a color instead of white. You might want a green color. And the opacity, you can change the opacity here. You can have a border. This text here might want to have some animation to it. The animation will occur when we reach this part of the page. And what we want, we might want it to fade in. As you can see there, fade in. And actually, we might want it to fade in from the right. And we have some timings here as well. So we've got it fading into the right. We can preview that here. That's what it looks like. So when you scroll down onto this element of the page, part of the page, this will appear. And you can change the spacing. So this is the spacing around here. So if we've got a border, see the text is quite close to the border. So we might want some spacing between the text and the border. So if I now go to spacing, at the moment, this box here represents this side inside the box. So let's call it, let's say five pixels all the way around. So what that's done now is added some space all the way inside. So this, I say this area here is inside the box. So we've done some playing around with this bit of text here. So we set up the, the, the default text and we've gone here and changed it. And you can do this for any text that you see on the pages. To add text though, 
you need the widgets. So if you go to the widgets, there is a text widget, which is this one here. And you just drag this into the relevant place where you want to add the text. And as you see, we have here a paragraph text set to our standard default settings. And we can just type in accordingly. And this format doesn't follow the one we've just played with because we changed the format of the text. So now we've got this in here and you click this and you say title. And we want this to be a, not a paragraph, but an H heading one. You can have it come up here. And if we want some text underneath this, we go to widget, text, drag it under the title. And now we can put our paragraph text in. Delete the new paragraph. What I'm going to do is add in some text we did earlier about us, something about us, but not much really. Instead of dragging text in underneath this, we can say, if you right hand mouse click, add a widget row so we can add a text below this way. So it's another way to add in text quickly. So if you've got a heading like this one and you want to add some text below, right hand mouse click, widget, text below. Then we can add the text below, saves you dragging in a widget. If you want to repeat this, you can say select and copy. And if I just click this again, say paste, it will paste the text below. This is just in case you formatted something in a certain way and you wanted to repeat it somewhere else. Like this one, for instance, we might want to keep the format. So we copy underneath here, we say paste. And now it appears underneath this. Of course, you can change the words, but it's a way of actually copying and pasting the text.